guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Shamise TV and I'm Shamise, period. She's a... As you guys can see by the title today, I'm going to be installing this beautiful 36 inch HD lace hand tie knotless wig, y'all. They really ate when they did this wig, like real bad. I don't know who braided this, but whoever braided this, props to you because this eats. I'm never sitting down in the chair to get my hair braided again. I'm not dealing with it being all tight. My hair hurting for five days because I want to go get it done by the Africans. No, y'all, I'm getting me a braided wig from Fancy Vivi. Everything for this hair is linked down below. Make sure you guys go get it. As soon as I got it, I loved it, y'all, because I'm like, this lace is bomb. Like, this lace gonna eat. But I think my skin tone is a little bit light for it. I'm not sure. But for the most part, it matches. And that's nothing that a little bit more makeup won't fix. Um, everything for this company will be linked down below. This was so easy to install, y'all. This took me not even an hour for real, for real. Um, it is a full lace wig, but I'm not really familiar with how to do full lace completely with the back. So I just tucked it back in for right now and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna try to install that. I may or may not include that clip in here because I don't wanna mess up and embarrass myself. But for the most part, y'all, I love this wig. Like this is my first time getting small knotless braids and you can't tell me nothing, baby. I went and I sat in the chair and I got this done for me, okay? This took three hours to get done, baby. Yeah, yeah, they ate. Okay, first y'all, let's get into this lace, this lace, this lace, because it's giving scalp. It's giving I grew all 36 inches out of my very own head. Okay, you hear me? Okay, so the first thing I always do is I go in and I lay my cap down before I do anything to the wig. I go in and I lay my cap down because if that cap is melted, then the lace is going to be melted, right? So I go in with a little bit of makeup right after just to make sure the back of the cap matches my skin color, you know, and this is a whole 360 wig, so I have to go in and do it with the whole entire cap, like probably the entire cap. Y'all, so y'all know what happened next right after I put the freaking makeup on and I try to put these damn wigs on my head. Oh! See, right there, this bitch tried to take me out all 36 inches. That shit wrapped around my back, came back in my eye. That's how long it is, y'all. And here I'm just trying on the wig with the makeup and everything. Just trying to see how, like, get an idea of how it's going to look on my head. Once I put it on, I added a little bit of makeup to the lace on the wig as well. I think I showed you guys that too, but I'm just trying to get the idea of how it's going to look. Now I'm just going in with the lace glue. Um, I think it's Bold Hold that I'm using in this video. But I do about two or three layers depending on how long I want to wear the wig for. If I'm going to wear it for really long, I'll put like three layers. If not, I'll do one or most likely two layers just so it can like come off easy and not stick to my head. But if you want to wear your wig for a really long time, y'all, for at least two weeks, do three layers. Please do three layers. Okay, so right here, I feel like this is a really important part. You want to make sure that you're pressing the glue out into your hair, into your skin, I mean, as well as the wig cap, because you want to make sure that you're getting it evenly distributed, a, a nice thin coat, because if you leave it all clumpy and stuff like that, it's not going to dry clear, and you need it to dry clear. If you don't dry clear, you're going to mess up your entire install, so guys, do not skip this step. Why you 
okay, so at this point, I'm just laying my hair down and I'm adding my lace band, putting on my lace band to make sure that my lace is all smooth, make sure it's giving skin, make sure it's giving scalp, make sure it is slayed, okay? I leave the lace band on for probably about 30 minutes. Honestly, usually I'll spray my hair after I cut the lace. I don't know what I was thinking today, but that's just for the, like the extra hold. Make sure that the lace is stuck to the glue for sure, for sure, for sure. But yeah, that's what I'm doing here. I don't know why I sprayed it before I cut the lace though. Right here, I'm just pulling the baby hairs out literally with my hands because, y'all, the lace came with mad baby hairs. And if you want to do it, like, real dramatic, then you would keep them. But I don't like my baby hairs to look old, full, like, you know. So I plucked them out, and then I started to do my baby hairs.
as you guys can see, I ate it up. I ate it up, I ate the install up, I ate the wake up. The edges aren't usually, like I don't usually do my edges like this, it's not what I'm used to, but like for the most part, I ate. You guys said that they gave me a wig cap, they gave me uh, clip things to put on my hair, y'all. They gave me lashes. So make sure you guys don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to run over to Fancy Vivi. Everything with this hair, everything regarding this will be linked down below so you guys can go get it yourselves. And just make sure you guys go shop with them because yeah, they ate. They ate, like look at the part. This eats real bad. So just make sure you guys go shop with them. Mm. My first braided wig ever. I love this real bad. So make sure you guys go shop with them. Go get you guys a nice little braided wig. If you want to sit down and get your braids done for three, five hours, you can get it done in an hour. Bye, guys.